Fit and 10. It is day 35. And if you remember on the very first video that I did, I said, before you know it, the halfway mark will be here. Well, here we are, the halfway mark. And I'm going to say it again. Before you know it, the end will be here. All right, we've got 35 days left to go. It's going to fly by. The second half is faster than the first half. All right, so, you know, take advantage every day. You know the program better daily. You should know better daily. You should be becoming more proficient with things, have a better understanding. Um, the excuses should begin to dwindle down, right? Because you become that much better at this program, okay? So all the more reason for you to um, for you to progress or make more progress over the last little bit here. Um, all right, Calendly link is up, so you can um, you can book for your uh, your scan if you haven't already. And um, you know, being that we're being that we are at the halfway point, I want to talk about um, you know, well, more of a reminder of food intake. Uh, lean mass and fat loss. Okay, so I really 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 want to encourage you guys to make sure that you are eating Again real whole food and getting all those macros in right we want to facilitate the the uh, At the very least the maintenance of lean mass remember lean mass Not just muscle mass, but all your lean mass is The engine but it, but in particular lean, uh, lean uh, muscle mass is the engine for you to keep your BMR up, right? To keep your basal metabolic rate as high as possible. So how do we do that? We make sure we get sufficient calories, right? Again, you know, you're at, a lot of you have asked me, well, like, you know, aren't my calories too high? No, your calories are not too high. Yes, obviously, if we took your calories to a certain point, they would be too high, but there's a sweet spot and that's where you are. You're at that sweet spot where we're going to be losing some fat, but enough calories in there that we don't um, we don't cause too much damage to your BMR. Now, listen. Anytime you lose weight, your BMR is going to drop. Okay, you just you can't get around it. You're losing mass. You lose mass, even fat mass. Um, that's going to require less energy to sustain. Um, you know, because you're losing mass, right? You have less mass to sustain on a daily basis, so you require less energy for that, right? So again, we wanna make sure that the calories are all there, because you're not, you're not getting that much. As much as you think you're getting a lot, you're not. And this is really important, again, for that maintenance and building of lean muscle mass and for keeping all those other processes related to your BMR uh, running as inefficiently, as energy inefficiently as possible, right? We wanna burn as much energy per day, that is energy inefficiency, burning lots of energy. We don't want to be energy efficient. We want to be energy um, inefficient, right? Um, what else did I want to say on this? Um, you know, and of course, we want to make sure we get good nutrition, right? So this is, again, I cannot stress real whole food. We really got to stay away from these, um, you know, I'm really going to stress to stay away from things like, you know, most crackers and, you know, jams and, you um, you know, pizzas and muffins and all that kind of stuff, okay? You're just getting a lot of calories and not a lot of nutrition, generally speaking, okay? Um, there's something else I wanted to say about this, and I cannot remember. I'll come back to it if I do remember. All right, can, this person asked, can I uh, combine two cardio sessions together? I'm going to recommend that you do not. Um, because that's going to be a whole whack of intervals. Like it's going to be like 20 intervals. So your intervals coming up this week are going to, are going to bump up to, I can't remember if you guys are at nine right now. I'm probably going to bump them up to 10. Okay. So they're going to change basically. Um, and some of you are, are actually higher than that. Um, just based on your history. That's why it's a little bit different for some of you. If you're in case you're wondering. Um, so you know, doing 20 in one session is just too much, okay? And when I say it's too much, it's like you cannot put that kind of intensity in. These intervals are meant to be really hard. Um, and also, you know, this this cardio that we're doing is like, it's a, it's a bit of a spike in, um, in, in uh, energy output for the, you know, remaining hours afterwards. So 
I would rather you create two separate spikes than one, right? I think you're gonna get more benefit, well, you will get more benefit out of doing two separate cardio sessions as opposed to doing one longer one, okay? It's going to, um, it's going to pay off more, all right? So I don't recommend that you do that. Okay, how am I doing for time? All right, let's talk about this next uh, topic here. Um, drinking water. So somebody says they increase their water intake and they notice they've gained weight. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what you mean. I, I'm, I'm assuming you mean you're weighing yourself at night and you're heavier. Um, yeah, you will be heavier if you're drinking more water, for sure. But remember this, like that's a very temporary thing, right? Water is the... You can think about any diuretic. You can think about a prescription diuretic. You can think about, you know, caffeine or whatever. Things that help rid the body of water. The number one diuretic, the strongest diuretic, is uh, water. Okay, is water. Yeah, you may be thinking what, but you know, you have, the body always wants to maintain homeostasis. It's going to do its best to try to stay in balance. So, what happens if you drink a lot of water? Your body's going to flush that water out. Now, it doesn't happen immediately, though. Right? You're going to take the water in and then your body's going to excrete it. But if you're drinking all throughout the day, it is going to build up and you are going to hold some water for a brief period of time. But what you will notice is if you weigh yourself in the morning, you're going to see your body weight drop a whole lot throughout the night. And I realize I'm a bit of an extreme example. Uh, Coach Martina will vouch for this because she's seen it before. Uh, I typically lose about 9 to 10 pounds overnight. I'll say that again. I typically lose nine to 10 pounds every single night because I drink so much water throughout the day. And then I sleep. Now, if I sleep, if I end up sleeping like five or six hours, I won't lose that much. I'll lose like about five or six uh, pounds, somewhere around there. Uh, but if I sleep eight hours, I will lose, eight or nine hours, I will lose um, nine or 10 pounds of water. Because the water, the body's just gonna continue, continue to flush it out, okay? So, um, you know, don't worry about um, the weight gain that you're getting from water. It's, it's a very temporary thing. And uh, I'm just going to reread your question here. Uh, I'm drinking almost four liters of water per day, and I notice that I'm at about five pounds of body water. How does water figure into weight loss and, and strength building? Okay, so uh, in terms of weight loss, it's been, it's been shown that uh, adequate water intake or increased water intake increases your metabolism by up to 3%, which doesn't seem like much, but obviously a 3% increase every day is going to add up. So it's it's another little bit that we can add on every day that's going to help you to be that much more energy and efficient, right? Um, the other thing that we want to think about is, you know, delivery of nutrients to the body, as well as just being hydrated um, from a performance standpoint. And these two things are really important when it comes to performance in the gym and your workouts. And if you can perform better in your workouts, you're gonna get better results, right? In terms of getting leaner and building lean muscle mass. Also a hydrated muscle is, is, is a, you can, think of, you can think of a hydrated muscle as a, as a better environment for protein synthesis. It's a better environment to help facilitate uh, the muscle building process, okay? A dehydrated muscle will not do that um, to the same degree, okay? So um, you can think about this from the aspect of burning more energy, right? You can also think about this from the aspect of building more muscle, okay? Water lends uh, itself to both of those uh, things, okay? All right, message of the day, because I'm already at nine minutes. Mamma mia. All right. Okay, so it's day 35, it's halfway point. So I'm gonna read you one of my favorite quotes of all time. It goes like this. Don't forget, you can start late, you can start over, you can be unsure, you can act differently, you can try and fail, and you can still go on to succeed. Okay? So don't forget, you can start late, you can start over and over and over and over and over again, you can be unsure, you can act differently. Uh, you can try and you can fail, you can try, you can fail, and you can still go on to succeed. Remember that, okay? One more time. Don't forget, you can start late, you can start over, you can be unsure, you can act differently, uh, you can try and fail, and you can still 
succeed, okay? That's everything. Positive energy, positive vibes. Believe in yourself for the love of God. Give some gratitude. It's never too late. We're at the halfway point. Let's go. We're now on the downhill. And uh, let's make the best of it and see how you do in your upcoming third scan, which will be taking place in uh, just over a week, all right? You guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you all soon. See you guys.